how to talk to a shy person because in this video I want to talk about on how to talk to a person that keeps themselves more reserved we've all been there we're trying to talk to this individual trying to break the ice trying to bridge the gap between being someone that isn't particularly as shy as someone else but it doesn't seem to work and I've been there I've made the mistakes and that's why in this video I want to guide you in terms of how to navigate through the situation so you can build a connection that you are looking for and I hope you are excited because I am and with that said let's get started breaking down the shyness barrier and the science speaks for itself so before we jump into the action let's have a quick glance when it comes to the science of shyness research suggests that shyness isn't a personality trait. It's often linked with social anxiety and fear of judgment. Understanding this can help you when it comes to approaching a shy person because now you can be more patient and show empathy. And with the scientific rationale out of the way, now I wanna jump into the actionable steps. Number one, the power of active listening. Did you know that listening to someone can instantly make them appreciate you because they feel valued? I love the idea of someone actively listening to them because it feels like that they've finally been heard. And when you engage in genuine active listening, you send off this powerful message that you are genuinely interested in what they have to say. So put away those distractions and actively listen in the moment. Because I completely understand that even if you're trying to impress a shy person, sometimes we're still a lot in our head. We're thinking about, about the next thing, what we have to say. We're constantly thinking about the next step we have to initiate or anything else that's on our mind. But the power of active listening is that all of that doesn't matter. Now you are here with that person in the moment, in the current present, and all you are focused on is what they say. And when it comes to the next step, Yes, you only have to do it one step at a time. Just take it slow. Remember, show empathy and be patient because this is the key if you are someone that wants to talk to a shy person. Number two, embrace open body language. Your body speaks volumes even before you utter a word. Maintain a open and extremely relaxed body language. It's kind of like you're giving an unspoken invitation for a comfortable conversation. And this is extremely crucial if you're speaking to a shy person. So avoid fidgeting with your fingers, avoid crossing your arms like this, because this creates a barrier. Try to act like this person is coming very close to you and your body language showcase that you're extremely comfortable with this individual because that will relax and ease their mind. Number three, start with shared interests. Now, here's the secret sauce. Find common ground. Shared hobbies, interests or experiences are the perfect launch pad to start a conversation. It could literally be anything from gaming, movies, to any outdoor adventures because once you got that common thread you are on your way to build rapport and when it comes to a shy person a lot of times they are extremely shy when it comes to meeting a new individual but once the ice has been broken once they found a comfortable spot in the conversation now you are good but it's all about the first key things you need to make them feel comfortable. You need to show empathy, be patient with them. And if you can find shared interest, the conversation will flow so much easier because now they genuinely want to engage in the conversation. Because sometimes when it comes to shy people, they don't even want to engage in the conversation. They feel too anxious. They feel so uncomfortable. And thus, if you're someone that can find a shared interest, because now it's engaging something that they already find extremely difficult, hard, but now they've got reason for it, an incentive, because now they're talking about something that they really care about. And this is the first step to create a meaningful connection with a shy person. And when it comes to all of the other steps, they're pretty much the same. Just always remember to show more empathy and be more patient with a shy individual. And that's pretty much it. And remember guys, communication isn't just words. It's also about non-verbal cues. And the truth is that if you are someone that looks more attractive, people feel more comfortable around you. And that's why for those individuals that want to take it to the next level, I would highly recommend you to check out my face rating system. I will have it linked down below. In this face rating system, I will talk about on how to improve your facial looks. I will talk about on how to look better on social media, your Instagram, because your Instagram is your digital CV. And when it comes to the shy individual, perhaps this is someone in your classroom and they're already following you on Instagram. Now they already know what kind of lifestyle you live. And this makes them feel more at ease because they already kind of know you, even though you haven't really spoken in real life. And number three is your fashion sense. The way you dress yourself really showcases who you are as a person. And when it comes to first impressions, they really count. 
and that's why you want to maximize your fashion to portray the best version of you. So definitely check out the face rating system if you want to take it to the next level. But for everyone else, I would highly recommend you to check out my free Glow Up Secrets book. It's a complete game changer when it comes to getting a glow up, improving your mindset, becoming more confident, and the list goes on and on. And thus, if you are someone that wants to turn heads everywhere you go, I would highly recommend you to check it out. And that's pretty much the end of this video. So remember, focus on active listening, have an open body language, and find shared interest. And this way, you can talk to any shy person in the world. So if you'd like to see more videos like this in the future, please consider to hit the subscribe button and leave a thumbs up for the YouTube algorithm. Anyways, thank you so much for watching. I genuinely appreciate your time and I hope to see you on my next video. Bye bye.